So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Duda Website Builder. And honestly, I almost skipped this because they're sort of targeting this website builder at professional builders and agencies who are looking to build websites. And I definitely do support those people, but you know, the people I'm most interested in helping are people who are looking to build their own websites. Um, and I would actually say that I am really glad I didn't skip out on Duda and taking a first look at it um, because I think it is a great choice if you're building your own website or if you're building websites for other people. So in this video, I'm gonna dive in, take a first look at it, tell you what I think about it. And I think most of you are gonna be pleasantly surprised at what this website builder will do. Hi, I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. Okay, so this here um, is one of the views that you get with Duda. You get this sort of three views in one. So here on the left-hand side, we're seeing uh, the web page that I built and we're seeing kind of a representation of what it would look like on a desktop. In the middle here, we're getting an idea of what it's gonna look like on a tablet. And the far side, we're getting an idea of what it's gonna look like on an iPhone or you know mobile phone like an Android phone. And one of the great things about this is that you know you can make your adjustments here to sort of the full size and tablet, those seem to be kind of linked together. Um, but then you can also make specific modifications for mobile to make sure that your website looks the way you want it to on mobile. Because that's definitely a different experience and it's an experience that's becoming increasingly more and more important for things like search engine optimization. It's one of the metrics that Google is looking at since I think somewhere around like 50% of people view websites on their phone. So it's definitely important to keep that in mind. And if you're interested in checking out Duda while you're watching this review or after you're watching this review, I'll include a link down below and that link helps to support this channel and it helps to allow me to go and test these website building products, let you guys know what I think about it and then create tutorials. And you know, with how I've been impressed with Duda so far, I'm definitely gonna be doing some tutorials on it because I found it fairly easy to use. There's a couple of things that kind of hung me up. So if you you know want to get a quick and easy start to it, definitely check out in the description down below for some of my tutorials on this, and I'll you know hit some hit some links up at the top of this video with some of those tutorials also. Okay, so this here is the website that I built. I'm sort of doing these portfolio websites as a test. I've got my product photography here. I do some fire photography um, work that I've done in the past. I'm kind of showing this off and. Here we're seeing kind of the view that I chose for my fire photography. I've got this slide here. But I was really impressed actually with the different options that you have for you know setting up a gallery page like this and generally the different options that you have for building a portfolio website. Duda has some of the better options that I've seen out there actually for building a personal or portfolio website. So it's something to keep in mind if you're interested in building a portfolio website. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how the builder works in Duda. So here is the main builder interface that you get with Duda. Um, up here at the top, we've got some undo and redo buttons. We've got a save button. Although every time I've looked at the save button, it's already automatically been saved. So that's something that I really like is not having to remember to save things. Um, that's definitely something that's nice about this builder. And the other thing that I really appreciate, and I've been looking at a lot of different builders and some of them don't include this feature, which I think is super important to keep the flow of building your website. And that is being able to have, if you look at here under design, these global design settings. So you can set up you know, your default text, what you want the default text size to be. You can do that for all of the major HTML tags. So the H, you know, the paragraph through the H1, through all of the different, you know, through the H6 tag, you can decide what font you want to use, what size you want that to be by default, whether you want it to be bold, italicized, underlined, all of those things. It's one of the things that I recommend when you're starting to build a website that you go through when you set up these settings right away. So you don't have to be making these decisions on the fly. And it's nice that you can do this sort of globally across your entire website. And you can even change it globally across your website if you decide you don't like what that look is. So it's a really helpful thing for design. Also under this, we've got global uh, button designs, global image settings. So what you want your images to look like by default, row settings, site background. So all these basic things to just sort of like, to sort of lay out the basics of what you want your website to look like. And this really helps you speed up the process of building a website. Next here, we've got these uh, pages. So you can add different pages to your website. This also controls your menu. And you can add, you know, uh, what I've added this is they called it a folder. And the folder allows you to add items underneath. So if you go under portfolios, I've got this one tab to my fire portfolio underneath there. Now, the one thing I found um, confusing kind of right off the bat uh, with using Duda is, you know, most 
companies call their content items, they either call them blocks or modules or something like that. In this case, Duda called it a widget. Um, I found the widget wording to be a little bit confusing because I think of widgets as, I don't know, some sort of an extra programming specialty functionality, not your basic functionality, but you'll find all of your basic functionality for Duda under widgets. If you want to drag in a text item, you just drag in a text item, you place it where you want it, just like that, and then you can start typing in text. The same thing goes you know, for everything else, adding in a title text, adding in a divider, all of those kind of things. If you want to add another column to your website, you just take one of the widget blocks, sort of slide it over here to the side. Come on, work. This is just the one thing that I do find with almost all of these kind of front end visual builders is you do wind up with kind of fidgetiness and it's not, this is not exclusive to due to like almost all or pretty much all of the front end builders I've, I've tried have this sort of weirdness to them where you gotta just kind of drag things around for a while until you get it to go where you want to go. But if you want to add another column, that's how you do it. You just kind of fiddle with it until you get that second column in there. So generally building is really easy with these widgets, just dragging them in and dropping them. Another thing that I really like about Duda and what I like about easy to use website builders is when they give you some options and some design prompts or design ideas to get started with. So if you add a new section to your website, just by going to the bottom of an existing section, click add new section, we get these different pre-designed sections here that we can use. And it's just really helpful to have that to get, you know, a quick start. So if I wanted to add, I don't know, let's see here, just this kind of splash section here, I can drag it, drop it in here. Now, one of the cool things about this is that if you want to get a, you know, if you are kind of trying to decide between two different ones, you can actually use these arrow buttons here and it'll slide back and forth between some of the different designs. So you can kind of get a closer look and you can see what it's gonna look like on your website. Now, the one thing I did find a little bit confusing about this was how do I actually get this thing to stick? And to do that, I actually look at here at the top and there's this save button. So a little bit of user interface uh, issue that I had, and it took me a while to kind of like learn where that was up there. But once you know it, then you know where it is and you can just keep moving with your website. Editing one of these sections is really easy. You just click on you know, the background, for example, you can change it to whatever you want, add edit images. I really like this, especially if you're building a portfolio website, this ability to delete all images without having to go through and select each one. Some of the website builders I've tested, you've got to go through and delete each image, and that is really annoying. But here we get that um, delete button, so I really like that. It also has a library of all the images that I've uploaded, so I can just simply select one of the images that I've already uploaded, add that in there. Just overall, the builder is really easy and fairly intuitive to use. So I really like that. Duda also features a blog functionality. So that's really great if you are using blogging as a way of increasing your search engine optimization, letting your customers know about you know what you're doing and how you're doing it. And as you can see here, the blog also follows the formatting that you have and that I've set up for this website. So it's gonna match with the website that you want. You can also go ahead and modify the look of the blog. So here we've got the layout editor for your blog posts. So you can kind of decide and move things around and you know make it fit the way you want your blog post to, to look. So that's a really, really powerful fe feature in a you know fairly easy to use website builder. So definitely something that I like. Another pleasant surprise that I had with Duda was that you've got a lot of control over designing your website on something like an iPad. So if you like to use your iPad for just about everything and you wanna be able to build websites on an iPad, you can do that with Duda. The one issue that I had with it was when I was editing the mobile view and I was trying to style this phone icon here, I could not figure out for the life of me how to select that phone icon on my iPad. Every time I would push on it, it would just go to the phone number that the icon was linked to. So I'm not too sure whether that was user error or whether it's just too hard for you to select something that small um, on your iPad. But I built a whole section on my iPad, um, was able to add it, edit it um, with no problems whatsoever, change the text. And that is a really nice feature to have in a website builder, to so be able to you know, edit your website on the fly without any major issues. So that's, I did definitely give Duda a thumbs up for that. If you're looking at e-commerce and adding e-commerce to your website, Duda does have some functionality for that. Um, it's not something that I've really dived into yet. I'll be looking at that and looking at different 
online store platforms in the future. If building an online store is kind of like the main thing that you're looking for a website builder to do, you might want to check out my Shopify review. I'll link to that at the top of the video and in the description down below. It's so far of the things that I've tested, Shopify is definitely focused on helping you build an e-commerce website. And so that's definitely something to look at. You can also extend the functionality of Duda with these various different apps. Again, this is not something that I've tried just yet, um, but I'll be diving into a little bit farther as I look at Duda. And I'm definitely gonna be looking at Duda more because it's been pretty awesome. I've really enjoyed the experience. So to wrap up this first look review, here's how I would sum up Duda. I would say, it is something that you should definitely look at if you're looking to build a website and you want it to be a little bit more sophisticated, you want a little bit more controls, but you don't really want to spend a whole ton of time building your website. What I find with Duda is it's a nice balance between easy to use and giving you the controls that you want without being overwhelming or too fidgety or being too time consuming at building your pages. And I really like that. If you're looking for something even easier, something you can just bang a website out really quickly, check out my Jimdo review. I found that to be just incredibly quick at building a website, but you don't get anywhere near the control that you get with Duda. So I feel like Duda is gonna be probably in the top rankings of my easy to use website builders. And if you're interested in that video, um, I'm gonna be creating a video on my top recommended website builders after I've had a chance to look at several more website builders. And I'll link to that at the top of the video and in the description down below. So let me know what you're looking for in a website builder. Leave that down in the comments below. If you've used Duda, tell me what your experiences have been. Tell the, tell the community what your experiences have been. Do you like it? Um, have you had problems with it? You know, what do you think of Duda? If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.